very clear to all of you, which I've said that earlier also, that I don't consider myself to be a scholar. I consider myself to be a talib ilm a student of knowledge. I'm a dai and a student of knowledge. And the role of a dai is to collect the fatwas given by scholars and convey it to the public, to the masses. And if there's a difference of opinion, he being of student knowledge, can choose between the fatwas given and give his opinion which he considers to be right. I don't consider myself to be a scholar. I've never given any fatwa. Yes, I may agree with certain scholars, but I myself don't consider myself to be a scholar. And I don't think that a person who's just passed from an Islamic university with a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or a PhD is called a scholar. For me, a scholar is of a different level who Allah has given the niyama. I'm not one of them. Because in my organization, a few years back when I was in Bombay, Alhamdulillah, as you know, that there were more than 500 full-time paid employees in my organization, out of which there were more than 60 full-time paid employees who were bachelors, masters, and PhDs from Islamic universities all over the world. More than 40 were from India, from different madrasas, universities of India, and more than 20 were graduates, postgraduates, and doctorates from foreign universities. More than 15 were from the Islamic University of Medina, a few were, mashallah, PhDs, a few were masters, and the remaining, they were bachelors. Of hadith majority, some were in tafsir, some were in sharia, in fiqh, some in dawa, some in loga. There were a few others, full-time staff, who were graduates from the famous university, Jamat al-Imam, Muhammad bin Saud University. Some were from al Azhar University, some were bachelors, some were PhD from al Azhar University. So in short, we had more than 60 of our staff, full-time staff, out of the 500, were bachelors, masters, and PhD from different universities all over the world. But I do not consider any one of them to be scholars. For me, a scholar is something which is on a higher level. And most of the duas that you find giving lectures, most of them, I consider them to be students of knowledge. Even on the Peach TV, more than 75 speakers that come on Peach TV English, as well on the other channels, I consider almost all of them to be students of knowledge. So that is the reason I don't consider myself to be a scholar. But the role of a dai is to make the fatwas of the scholars common and palatable and digestible to the world. So I consider myself to be dai. So let me make it very clear. I don't give fatwas on my own. But yes, I do research and I analyze the various fatwas given based on the verse of the Quran. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 59, Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. And those who have been given knowledge, that means the scholars. But the verse doesn't stop there, it continues. But if the scholars differ, go back to Allah and his Rasul. So when the scholars differ, students of knowledge, or the other scholars can choose between the fatwas if they have the basic knowledge of usul al-fiqh, etc. They have a right to choose. And I believe I'm a student of knowledge. 